Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's time for October's Scrawler Box and let's get straight into this shall we? I've even already cut the tape because I didn't want to waste so much time on camera. <laughs> so let's have a look at what exciting goodies we've got this month. Oh, we're looking kind of purpley. Let's have a see, shall we? Oh, I can't get into it. So, okay, we'll put that to the side for a minute. Oh, let's have a see. We have got the Derwent paint pen. Looks like that's like a white pen. Awesome, that looks cool. Oh, a nice purpley splattery sticker this month. I'm liking that color purple. <gasps> and look, oh, these are my favorite. I didn't, I don't know if you noticed, um, I didn't get any sweet in my last month's box. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't there. Parma violets, these remind me of my childhood. I absolutely love these, they are really nice. Um, we have got a Destin HB pencil, looks like a, a Faber-Castell. Uh, his standard pencil. Looking like some more goodies here. Ooh, what's this? A special gift for you to celebrate our 50th box. Oh wow, that's awesome. This is not my 50th box, but congratulations Scrawler Box on your 50th box. Awesome. I'll have to find somewhere to pin that. Ooh, 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 Copic Doodle Pack. <gasps> yes, awesome, I love trying these out. What have we got? A purple and a... Mm. We can't see what kind of colours they are on there. Don't know if they say. Um, a light purple, a darker purple, some sort of glittery pen and a multi-liner in wine. That will be fun to try out, awesome. Oh, and a kneadable eraser. Can never have too many kneadable erasers. <laughs> that is cool. Let's have a look what we've got under here. Some sort of paper, which we can check what that is in a minute. And ooh, this, I recognize this person. This looks like a drawing with waffles uh, piece of artwork. She's another famous YouTuber with over a million subscribers, just like last month's. If you don't watch her, you should definitely check her out because she's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, awesome. Let's have a look then at what it says. Okay, this month, uh, the paper is Canson the Wall paper. Awesome, I have actually tried some of this out before, um, but it'll be, I've done it with pro markers, so it'll be cool to see how it works with the um, Copics. And we have the challenge dressed to the nines. Okay. So before we get on to doing the main piece, I am just going to swatch out all of the materials or nearly all of them. I did actually forget to swatch the white pen. Um, I don't know if you would, would notice if I didn't say, but there I'm telling you in advance. I forgot to test the white. I was going to uh, do it on one of the darker colors, but I just forgot. Um, but anyway, here I am just testing out the pencil. It is your bog standard HB pencil. There's not really a lot to report and uh, it works fine as it does the eraser, the kneaded eraser. And it's always good to have lots of kneaded erasers, um, even just to play with. They're quite fun. And then here I am showing you the Co Copic Multiliner uh, in wine. I really like the colour of this one. Um, it's nice to be able to do some uh, line work that is not black because I sometimes think black stands out a little bit too much. Then I'm testing the Art U uh, Spiker or Speaker, I'm not entirely sure, pen. And uh, this had a really, really nice sparkle to it, which unfortunately you can't see on the video, but it, in real life, it adds a lovely little detail. And then finally, I am testing out the Copic markers. Uh, I really love using um, alcohol markers. I'm more of a pro marker fan than a Copic fan, uh, partly because I find the brush nibs just a little bit hard to control and I prefer having the bullet nib. Um, but you know, Copics are also fun to use. So um, yeah, I swatched these out and then I tried to blend them. I did find that the colors were a little bit too far away to be able to give a decent blend. Um, so it's not really something that I aimed to do then in my piece. Instead, I decided to use just um, the colors themselves and not blend them into one another. And as you can see now, I am starting to uh, work on my actual piece and uh, for this piece I decided to 
um, kind of tried to take drawing with waffles uh, style and do my own kind of version. She is really, really good at doing like girl chibi kind of girls, not quite chibi, but that kind of chibi manga, but in her own style anyway. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. If you go and look at her work, you will see that she does have a kind of distinct style. But she's really, really good at doing them in like really fluid poses. And I, I just love the way when you watch her, how she just composes all of these different poses. It's it's amazing to watch. Um, uh, my drawings are nowhere near as good as hers. I, mine are always, always, always way too static and stiff. And I, I don't really know. I'm hoping that it's just practice that I will get better with time being able to draw people. Um, but I don't know. I think you also kind of just, some people just have a knack for being able to draw like really fluid kind of poses with lots and lots of movement movement in them and uh, unfortunately I'm not one of those people or not yet anyway so this is my kind of chibi looking girl with with a bit of a stiff pose and uh, yeah I think she's okay I'm I'm kind of impressed that I managed to draw half decent hands at least even if her pose is still a bit kind of stiff um, so anyway I just I sketched it out and then I used the kneaded eraser to uh, lighten the sketch and I then just went over and did the line work with the Copic Multiliner. And when I'd let all of that dry, I then erased the rest of the pencil um, that was underneath the Multiliner. And as you can see now, I decided to use the Pale Copic marker, uh, mostly for some shadows. I didn't want to colour all of her skin in purple because I didn't want her to look like too uh, scary, I think can kind of look a bit zombieish if I'd coloured all of her skin in just purple maybe. Um, so yeah, and then just for some like low lights on her hair. And uh, so my plan was to use the light purple for the shadows and then to like go in with the dark purple on her dress and then use the uh, pink for like highlighting um, accessories and things so that is what I did um, I did find it was a bit hard to use these pens on this paper I know that in it says it's designed for it and in some ways it is like if you turn it over it has not bled through to the other side at all which is usually with um, alcohol markers they bleed through to the other side of the paper really really easily the one thing is though um, because the paper doesn't go back the pen doesn't go backwards through the paper um, it tends to instead go sideways so if you kind of see on her shoulder I literally put down one layer and it already started spreading out outside the lines so although they say that this paper is designed for uh, these kind of markers you still have to be really careful and uh, I kind of I don't like that you have to be really careful and and not go all the way up to the lines just in case because it's like how do you know how far near the line you should go and then if it doesn't like spread out as much as you think you, ah, it just annoys me uh, so I'm still really looking for the perfect paper I've never been able to find um, I know there's one in the USA that a lot of people talk about I've never been able to find it unfortunately here in like Sweden or in the UK but there you go here is my finished piece. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!